So in the first part of the Twitter clone video series, we had created the email authentication system using Firebase and Swift. In the second part, we will build on the interface of the application by adding the required tabs and add to the functionality of the app. So let's begin. First, let's go to the assets folder. As you can see, I've got some assets added already in my folder. You can get a link to these in my GitHub link in the description. Coming back to the main storyboard, let's first select the home view controller and embed it into a tab bar controller. Once that is done, select the item, set its name to home and the image to home as well. Now I'm just going to set up the other controllers that we require. We'll have four tabs. I'll put them up and I'll quickly fast forward this so that you can, you don't have to see it happening. Now you can see we have our four tabs set up. We'll start with the home view controller. Coming to the home view, let's delete this. Let's first add a navigation bar to the top. Change the background color to white and change the title to home. And let's add the constraints. Let's also just add the buttons that we need there. From the assets folders, you can get the images for these buttons. Let's call this new tweet. And I have a new tweet icon already there. And for this, let's call this add user. And I have an add user icon there as well. Now let's add a table view into the view. Put it in the center and set this up. Select this and add a prototype cell. And we'll make a custom prototype cell. Let's just first drag this and make this a little larger. Select an image view. Drag it here. Set its height and width to 40. And place it here. Set up its constraints. Top spacing, leading spacing, and height and width. Let's just quickly drag two labels. This one will be for the name, so let's just put in my name. Drag another label which will be for the handle. Let's call this Nath Varun. Let's set up the constraints for this. We'll say horizontal spacing and top, same thing. Let's set the size of the handle slightly smaller. 13 looks good. And let's fix the misalignments. Let's now drag a text view, which will display our tweet. Basically what this home view controller is going to do is going to show a feed of all the tweets that are coming to us and are made by us. And this is a demo tweet. Okay, let's set up the constraints, vertical spacing, leading, and trailing space. And let's also set up the height. What we can also do is we'll just set this image up as a Twitter icon as default. 
Let's also add the reply, retweet and like icons at the bottom. So let's select the stack view. We need a horizontal stack view. Select button from here, put the button in and we'll put in three buttons. We'll select the stack view, set its width the same as the text view, set the distribution to fill equally and let's set up the icons. Basically this one's going to be called reply and won't have any text. This one's going to be called retweet no text and this one is going to be also no text and images I think of a heart set the constraints for the stack view set this as vertical spacing and we'll also set up the height so there we have icons all set up now let's create the two files that we need for this view those are the home view controller and we'll create a view controller for the prototype cell. So let's do that. File. New file. Cocoa Touch class. And let's call that home view controller. And we need a UI table view cell. Let's call that home view table view cell. Come to the main storyboard, let's set these classes up. Home view controller. And for the prototype cell. Home view, table view cell. Those two are set up. Let's open the split editor. Let's first import Firebase database and Firebase auth. We'll also set up the delegates which are UI table view data source and UI table view delegate for the table view. Now let's create the methods that we need for the UI table view. So let's come here. Methods that we need are Self forward index path number of sections in table view and number of rows in section. So for number of rows in section, let's put in one for now and number of row for number of sections let's put in one and number of rows in section also let's put in one. Let's configure the cell. Let's cell of type home view table view cell equal to table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier. The identifier we haven't set that up right now, but let's call that home view table view cell as well. And for index path, index path, and force downcast it as home view table view cell and then return the cell. Right now it's just going to return the cell that we've created here without any data from our database. Let's click on this cell. And let's give it a reuse identifier of home view table view cell. Let's run this and see. Let's log in. And there we have it, we have the demo tweet coming up. Now let's go ahead and create the functionality required for the user to be able to send a new tweet. Coming to the main storyboard, let's create a new view. Drag that into the center. Control drag from the new tweet button that we have in our navigation bar and present modeling. 
yet again let's quickly add a navigation bar to the top we'll also add a button to the top this will allow the user to cancel this model next let's add a text view to the view this is where the user will type his tweet and quickly set up the constraints and let's add a button to the top here which allows the user to tweet now let's create the class required for this controller file new file coco touch class let's call this Let's call this new tweet view controller. Come to the main storyboard again. Set this up. As always, let's import the things we need. We'll import Firebase database and Firebase auth. We'll also implement the text field delegates for the text view. Let's hide this out. Once we have those set, let's also set the delegate over here. Control drag from the text view. Set up the delegate. Let's start by first creating a reference to our database. And also let's create a variable called logged in user of type any object. Let's control drag from the text view and call this new tweet text view. And let's first get the logged in user in the view did load. dot .auth .current user will get us that. Let's just add an insert to the text view. And let's add a default placeholder. Also, as the text view does not allow us to set a placeholder, we'll just set this color to gray to make it look like one. Let's control, click and drag from the stop button and set up the cancel method. What we'll do is just dismiss the view. Next, let's set up the text field should return method which hides the keyboard once we click, click enter. Let's also set up the functionality of the tweet button. Let's call the method did tap tweet when the user taps tweet. First, we check if the user has actually entered anything before we try and send it. So if the user has entered anything, we should update it in the database. So let's first get a key from the Firebase database. We're going to be storing the tweet under a node called tweets. Let's create a variable called child updates. This is the code that's going to update the tweet into the database. Under the tweets node, under the logged in user ID, under the auto generated key, we'll create a node called text and we'll store the new tweet there. Similarly, we'll also store the timestamp of the tweet
which will be under a node called timestamp. And for that, we'll use NS date time interval since 1970. Now we'll update the tweet into the database using the method update child values and pass it the child updates variable. After the user has sent the tweet, we'll also dismiss the model. Now before we try this out, we'll also add another method which will change the color of the text from gray to black and also remove the what's happening line written when the user starts writing something. For that we'll use function text view did begin editing. Now if the text of the tweet is gray in color, Then set the text to blank and set the color equal to black. Now that we have everything set up, let's test this out. I'm going to quickly log in. Click on our new tweet, we see what's happening. The moment we tap it, you see what's happening goes away. And the text color becomes black like we did it under this code. And we click on tweet. As you can see, the model is dismissed as well. We have no update here right now. But we can go into our database and check if it's got updated. As you can see, we have a tweets node over here. Under that, we have the user's UID. Under that, we have an auto-generated key, which is the key that we generated. We have the text of the tweet and we have the timestamp stored over here. So in this tutorial, we've seen how to create a new tweet and store it into our database. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to display this tweet on the home page over here and also keep the user logged in always so that we don't have to keep logging in again and again. I'd like you guys to try this out and I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.